The most controversial new member of Congress is headlining a political fundraiser tonight in Effingham. Republican Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene drew bipartisan condemnation for comparing wearing masks to the Holocaust and comparing health officials encouraging vaccines to Nazis. Tonight, she's campaigning with Congresswoman Mary Miller. Our Capitol Bureau Chief Mark Maxwell is live in Effingham at that event. And Mark, the Georgia Congresswoman is outraising almost all of her colleagues. Jessica, Republican leaders Mitch McConnell and uh, Kevin McCarthy have called the comments from Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene outrageous, represent, uh, reprehensible, and appalling. Illinois Congressman Republican Adam Kinzinger has called on House Republicans to kick her out of their conver uh, conference, but rather Mary Miller has invited her here to Effingham to help her raise money for her campaign to stay in Congress. Effingham here, the center of a billboard battle over Mary Miller's comments invoking Hitler the day before the uh, attack on the Capitol. First, Miller apologized. Democrats put up a billboard uh, highlighting her comments. Now a billboard is up saying that she is correct. Taylor Greene herself recently invoked the Holocaust and Nazis in her opposition to public health guidance. Her shocking comments have drawn her attention from President Trump's base and a stage with Trump at an event recently. On Twitter, Green still claims that Trump won the 2020 election. Trump's own Attorney General Bill Barr called that BS. Tonight, Democrats highlighted Miller and Green's votes against honoring the police officers who defended the Capitol on January 6th, and they said, quote, they don't belong in Congress spewing hate and division. The event organizers did prepare plenty of space for media, printed off press credentials, expecting press to show up, but declined to make either member of Congress available for any questions from reporters who are here. Well, uh, the event expected to kick off and many hundreds of people already inside. Reporting in Effingham, Mark Maxwell.